hi guys welcome back to my channel in my previous video i showed you guys how to draft a pattern for a princess that to fit and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to stitch it together to create this beautiful blouse which i have on so keep watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up please it helps my video reach other people let's go ahead with the video I am so so this is the pattern for the front please note the only places i put the allowance when i was cutting this i already added some allowance so those places i added allowance i didn't add allowance again so like the side i already added allowance when i was sewing so i didn't bother to add allowance the only place i actually added allowance is this middle part you know where there was literally no way for me to add an allowance that's why i added an allowance here and to the top part too so i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out my back piece so i think this fabric here should be enough to cut that out hopefully the only allowance i'm adding to the back piece is going to be the shoulder because i didn't add that i don't know if i mentioned this but i'm using a scrap fabric that, that i use for a different project so my fabric is not going to be straight and that's why i'm really conscious about the way i'm placing this then i'm cutting this then out just adding half an inch allowance to the shoulder measurements and the armhole same thing for the front i did add allowance for the armhole So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out, the exact same things on the lining. So I have um, one, three pieces right here. I'm going to cut out on the lining. Notice how each of these are doubled. The lining is also going to be doubled like this. Okay, so these are my pieces. I cut out everything that you see on the lining and on the fabric. So everything I do to the fabric, I'm going to do the lining too. So I'm not going to show you me doing both of them. I'm just going to show you me doing one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the back since that's like less difficult thing. What I'm going to do at the back is I'm going to take away these pins and then I'm just going to sew it like so. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to I'm going to show you on the machine. It's easier for you to see there. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing to the back is I'm taking I'm removing these pins. And then one piece, so I'm going to put my pattern somewhere else. So now this is the back. I'm going to go ahead and this is the back of the fabric. I'm going to fold this like so. When I fold it like so, I'm going to go ahead and fit it into my machine. And then make sure it's at half an inch. So right here is the half an inch mark. And then I'm going to sew just like the line we had here, right? I'm going to sew like a diagonal line to come meet this point. And this point I know is on my arm most of I'm basically going to sew like a slanted line sewing out and the out is going to be at this point. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so I sewed it on all four of them, but I want to show you what it looks like on the yellow one. So that we said I just did a slant line to stop where the armhole line stops. So that was what I did for all the pieces of the back. Also, I just realized that this lining was yellow. No, I don't know why. I think I'm colorblind. But I just realized the lining was yellow, not white. And I also realized I do not have white lining. Or I do not know where it is. I'm 100 percent sure I got like a lot of white lining. I just don't know where it is right now. So I'll just go ahead and use the yellow one because I really cannot wait with this project. Plus, it's mine, so that's not super important. If I was like a client, I'll probably go buy it too. Uh use matching use matching linings for your project so now for the front piece i'm going to open it so that you guys can see what it looks like if i did not mention i did cut this on the center so that, that way when i open it up it's instead of two pieces it's actually just one piece yeah so this is what i mean so now for this front piece what i'm going to do is going to look like this this one's gonna have one side and this one's gonna have the other side so i'm going to go ahead and stitch this like so I'm going to show you how I stitch one, but I'm going to stitch the two sides and do the exact same thing to the lining. So just pay attention as I stitch it because I'll be like arranging it as I go through it. So as I was sewing this, I, I, I sewed it right and it came out the way I wanted and the way I wanted it to an extent. But I just realized that it would be nicer if I put um interfacing or gum stay on it so that way it has more body to it so i'm going to go ahead and lose the stitch i have and add that interfacing so i'm going to say before you guys stitch if you wanted to have more body add interfacing but that option is totally optional i'm also showing you guys my mistakes or like 
how I design exactly without like editing some important parts out because I want you guys to see that design processes you you get more inspiration as you're designing it's, it's not just like set and stone you cut and then you sew there's a lot of things that happen in between and I'm trying to like you know implement those things that happen in between just so you guys can get the real feel of what it's like to sew so that that way when you're sewing and you've cut something you're not scared to like add a new element of design into it because you just want to stick to the style it's, it's always good to like you know if you get something like an inspiration to add something else go ahead and do that so i'm going to add the gum stay and then i'm going to sew it the exact same way i sewed it now so i'm not going to show you guys that again so just if you, if you want to add gum stay add it before sewing it like the way i just showed you in the previous clip So I'm done attaching the front pieces. Normally I'll iron them now, but I'm just going to wait till I join the back pieces. So if you guys remember from my cutting and my pattern, the allowance I left was uh, how many inches was it? If you remember from my my from my um sewing the the patterning, the allowance I left was one inch. So I'll go ahead and you know let me just show you guys what I'll do on the yellow one. I'm doing the exact same thing on the lining and on the actual piece. So I'll go ahead and join the sides and the shoulders so the shoulders were at, was at half an inch right so i'll go ahead and join the side and at half an inch and join the shoulders at half an inch and then join the side at one inch but if i join the side i want to make sure that my waist still is correct so i'm going to go ahead and measure to see what i have here my waist was 20 what waist did i use i didn't remember i think my waist was 26 yeah so this is perfect so if i take one inch here one inch here, i come back to 13. so my measurement is still accurate here so i'm going to go ahead and sew half inch on the shoulder right here and then join the sides and sew one inch on both the lining and the on both the lining and the fabric itself and then i'm gonna come back to you okay so this is after sewing i ironed it and it's looking better now so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and join the neck of um the lining to the neck of the so face it front facing front like so i'm going to sew the neck round and then i'm going to do the top stitch then i'm going to sew the bottom round and then i'm going to do the top stitch on the bottom as well i did my top stitch so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this down so i can see so i want to make sure it's like having this little overlap right here i also want to make sure that the bottom part too is having this little overlap and it's not so i'm going to go ahead and trim off about half an inch from the bottom part so that when i turn it in it's going to have that slight not really like a big overlap but that slight overlap okay so now the next thing i'm going to do after i've trimmed it is i'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down like so and then i'm going to sew the bottom part while i'm sewing i'm going to make sure my things are like aligning here like the side lines the dots i'm going to make sure they're all aligning as i sew it so when I'm done sewing the straight line, I'm going to go ahead and do a top stitch just like I did on this next side. I'm done stitching the bottom part and as you can see I did the top stitch. So it should look like this when it's worn so you're not going to see like any stitch lines because it's on the inside and it's just the top stitch you're going to see. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the whole thing inside out so you can get a better grasp of what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to seal this part closed. The um zipper allowance side i'm going to seal it closed just with a straight line on the two zipper allowances okay so next i'm just going to turn this in oh before i turn it in go ahead and i'll say notch all of this so before i turn it in make sure you have notches on those edges so it'll be easier to turn and so at those points will come out looking better now i'm going to turn when you're turning you want to make sure you're turning from the point because then you're just going to make your stuff you know come out well so now i'm going to turn this point too i'm going to turn it in like this okay so this is what i have i ironed it and this is what it's looking like next i'm just going to go ahead and fix my zipper here this is the zipper i'll be using i'm going to make sure that this bottom part is right here so that way i can unzip it entirely and wear it like a backward jacket okay so i'm done fixing the zipper let me turn this if you would like to learn how to fix a zipper click on the card above i have a video showing three different ways to fix a zipper so this is what it looks like 
right now the next thing i'm going to do is going to be the sleeves but i'm going to do the sleeves on a different video so that, that one can be a more detailed video dedicated for the sleeve so go ahead and um watch that video so that, that way you can recreate this style i would love to see your recreations i had to put it on the top to do like a mini photo shoot so that that way i could post a thumbnail for the video of this skirt so this is what it looks like on me without the sleeves and by the way if you guys want to see a video on how to make that skirt click on the card right here so you can see that video now don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up and i'm gonna see you all in the next video on how to sew the sleeves for this top